Hello everyone. Recently I received a lot of questions, a lot of messages about online live teaching. So, and um, today I'll, I will talk about my setting, how I teach mathematics online. And I will, I will introduce my tablets, uh, the apps I'm using it. And there are two different settings, basic, like if you don't want to spend too much time or spend too much money on things, you can just create a basic setting and teach online or if you want to do a professional um, like teaching and you can just uh, I, will, I will also talk about like professional setting how you um, create your classroom online and all this stuff so let's start with the basic ones I will just show you um, here here's my tablet um, graphic tablet I'm using this tablet to write things uh, which appears on the screen. So the tablet is XP Pen. So it was one of the cheapest ones I bought from Amazon. XP Pen Star 05, I think. It's here's a, yeah, here's the name. XP Pen Star 05. So you can just see this. Yeah. So I bought this one like, um, like two or three years ago, and it still works. So it's a great, a great device um, to use it in an online classroom. Uh, and here's my computer. So basically, you need two things: tablet and a computer. Like you need two hardware, and you need also you need two software. One software to write things on the screen. So I'm using Microsoft OneNote and you can see that these are my notes, class notes. You can use Microsoft OneNote or any kind of PDF annotator apps um, to write things on the screen. This is how it works. If you want to organize your notes, you can just click on this classroom part and write down your classroom, like classroom code or something. I'm just gonna write down MDM for you, for a data class. And here's my first lesson. You can just write lesson one here. And you can you can start writing things on the board. If you are ready, if your screen is ready, you can just click on this full screen mode, and you can start writing. I'm um, teaching like probability. You can just change the color, and okay, I'm just gonna use. There, there are a lot of colors here. Let's write down here example one, and you can just write your examples here and then teach. But I personally do not teach like that. What I do here is I'm going to insert uh, my um, PDF printout file. Like I have all these files um, I created before. So here's my here's my uh, printout PDF file. So you can just write things on the PDF file, and you can just make a full screen. So that's it. Here's my notes, and I also shared these notes with my students, and they can see it at the same time. Everything is written because it's hard to write down everything, right? So let's solve this one. So you see. It works really well. You can just write down things here and continue to scroll down or scroll up and continue to teach your lesson. So basically, you need a graphic tablet, you need a computer, and you need two software. One of them is a software which lets you to write things on the screen because in mathematics, writing is really important. And if you use a Microsoft OneNote or any kind of PDF annotator, so you can just search for if you don't have Microsoft account, okay, I know you, need, you have to pay for it. And if you just write PDF annotator here, there are a lot of free PDF annotator apps. I think this one is free. Uh, I'm not sure. You can just use it, upload your PDF file and, and uh, write things on the PDF file. That's it. So I'm just gonna show you one example. I have, a, I have an app, it has an option to annotate it. So yeah, it works the same. So you can just write down things here. So it, it, ha it does not have the same quality, right? But it works. It's not user friendly. This app does, is not user friendly. You don't see the, the colors. You don't see um, the highlighters and all this stuff. We just need to change it right here. So, but it works. You know, you can highlight things, right? So you can write down things. So any kind of PDF annotator works. 
So you don't need to worry about the app. If you don't have Microsoft account, you don't need to use Microsoft uh, OneNote. Okay, you can just download any kind of PDF annotator and use your tablet with PDF annotator. That's it. So you have a tablet, uh, you have a computer and you have an annotator app. And the third thing is you need to use an app which lets you uh, meet with your students. So um, in this case, I'm using two different apps. So my school have, have a G Suite account. So I'm allowed to create a meeting. So I can just click on this. If you have a school account, you can just click on meet and write your code. Um, let's say lesson one, right? So that's it. You can connect it and you can test your camera, you can um, test your microphone and you can start um, the you can start the meeting. That's it. So you can see your students right here. There's a screen here. Yeah, but there's no no one is here right now, so it's empty. But the thing is, um, in Google Meet, you don't have a gallery view. So the maximum people you can see in the screen is, uh, I believe it's four. So if it's more than four, you have to scroll down the list. You can you need to click on each student and you need to see their faces. And and um, there's another app which is Zoom. So it is free for 40 minutes. So you can just, if you want to create 40 minutes lessons, like create a lesson, 40 minutes, and then break time and have 40 minutes again, it's, but it does not go more than 40 minutes for free account. Again, it's very simple. You can just click on new meeting and then that's it. The best thing in Zoom is you can see the participants in the gallery view, but the thing is they work the same. Okay, you are using Zoom or Skype or Google Meet, any kind of apps gives you the same um, same feature. Okay, you can just meet with your students online. So these are these are the things you need to teach online. Okay, these are the basic things. If you have all these, you can start teaching. Let's say you start teaching now. Okay, what you are going to do is you are going to um, share your screen because the participants should see what you are teaching right you just click on this share screen option okay and choose your screen what do what you want to share so i'm going to share my notes so here is it so at and now the participants do not see my face they see my notes and everything is here if you want to stop sharing it you can just stop sharing it right here and there are other options here you can just um, click on more and see the chat and students can also see it so let's let's put this here there are other options here you can just check it so uh, you have to start um, screen sharing and if you are using Google Meet and you can do the same Okay, let's do the same thing for Google Classroom. Okay, so now participants are seeing your face, right? Uh, what you what you need to do is you just need to click on this present now option and just share your entire screen. Okay. So now they are now yeah, your screen is presenting to everyone. So they you can just um you can just share your notes and start writing. Um, if you want to make create a professional setting, you can use two screens. Like I'll just show you my screens right now. You can use a monitor and your laptop screen. So you see there are two screens now. Um, use like extended mode like this one and then choose the extended and you can use your two monitors like one for the meeting and you can just see the participants right here and the other one for the teaching so you see you can see participants and you can teach the lesson at the same time so uh, if, if you have if you are using Google Meet and look at this here are the participants and this is the lesson and you can see the chats here there's a there's a chat option here you can see what's going on in the chat at the same time so you can just um create a professional setting by using this tablet computer and the monitor so also um the camera if you don't like the camera here so the it, quality is not good right it's not really good 
So what you can do is you can just buy a webcam, HD webcam, and you can also connect this. So um, you can just connect it. And the, the, it automatically changes. So this is an HD cam and you, it has a light on it if you are like using it at night. So here's it. This is a professional um, setting. But again, you don't need all of this, right?